Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So it's Croctober day number 16 and we're making a, hopefully a quick meal because I'm putting my crock pot on in the afternoon. It's about 3.30. The kids actually have to go to a training session for Taekwondo because we have a tournament in two weeks. So I'm hoping by the time I put my meal on, I'm keeping it on high, that it will be done. So I was searching the web today and I found a recipe for Weight Watcher friendly chicken and pasta bake. And it called for diced chicken, a macaroni, and che macaroni with cheese, and a cream sauce. Well, I thought, oh, this is good and it'll make a great crock pot meal, but I don't want the pasta. We're kind of trying to do a little bit of keto Weight Watchers. We're, we're, we're still doing Weight Watchers, but we're trying to cut some of our carbs. So instead of doing the pasta, I'm going to do cauliflower and broccoli. And then to that, I'm going to add in carrots, peppers, and kale. So join me as I put together this meal and we head out to Taekwondo. So the first thing I'm going to do is spray my pan. Spray my crock really well. And I do want to say a huge shout out to everybody that's thumbed us up for our um, Croctober. It's really been great to see all the comments and people trying things. Also, huge shout out to anyone who has sent us coupons in the mail. I got some today. Thank you so much for my friend in Georgia. I really do appreciate it. Um, and there were a couple in there I could use today. I'm excited. So I just kind of pre-nuked a little bit my cauliflower and broccoli. It's still frozen. So I just wanted to get a little bit of the frost off because I'm cooking this after school. We probably won't get home till about 7.30. So that's going to be about four hour cook time in the crock pot, which will be just about enough. So I'm just scooping out my broccoli and my cauliflower and I'm putting it in the bottom because my chicken is already done. So I'm just putting in my broccoli and my cauliflower. To that, I'm going to add in, I don't know how many carrots. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that carrots was on the keto approved list. So I'm going to have to go back. Today was my first day of just looking up stuff. So carrots may not be on the list, but they're going in to this crock pot meal today. Um, to that, I'm going to do some sweet peppers, and I'm just going to dice these as well. So that was a couple of the mini sweet peppers. I want to get as much out as I can. just a bunch of kale. I had this kale and I wanted to go ahead and use it. And I'm a fan of greens. So I've got my kale in. I am going to add in 20 ounces of the uh, Foster Farms chicken dices. So this is diced chicken. We took it out so that it would be thawed. So I'm just adding in the entire bag. Three ounces is one smart point, and this was a 20 ounce bag. So I prepped this for six people, which means we'll have a dinner and a lunch for tomorrow. To that, I'm gonna add in, well let me do it in this bowl. I think this might be better. I'm adding in a cup of the reduced fat with a 2% milk, the sharp cheddar cheese. This I had in my 
outside freezer. And to that in here, this is a little bigger. I'm out of fat free cheese, so I had to add what I had in the house. I'm going to add in one can of cream of chicken. And I have added everything into Recipe Builder. So for one serving of this, it's going to count me four smart points for one serving. And to this one can of cream of chicken soup, I'm adding in two cups of this chef's covered 99% uh, fat free chicken broth. I think I got that um, Aldi. I can't remember, but I think so. And I'm just going to give that a quick stir. It did say the recipe called for skim milk, but I don't have skim milk and I'd rather have the, um, the broth. I do have almond milk in the fridge and we do have lactose free milk, but I'd much rather just have the broth and call it a day. And so I'm just going to add this into the crock pot. Just right over top of everything. And there's a lot in here because I added in the veggies. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, so it has been about five hours since we put our crock pot on. We got home probably a little bit before seven o'clock and I just left it on high and then I turned it off. So I'm gonna show you what our meal looks like. Remember we have cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, um, kale, chicken and then some cream of chicken soup and a cup of cheese this is going to uh, play out as four smart points it was originally supposed to be a bake like it was going to bake up but i didn't use pasta i ended up just using the cauliflower so it's more soupish but it's cold outside we got this um wave of, of rain and cold air and it's cold out there so whatever this is it's going to be very good it's going to, it is hot it's steaming and it's been off for a good little while now so i'm going to dish up a cup of this i may have put a little bit much chicken broth in here but that's okay i like a soup or the thought of a soup and i'm thinking this is going to be either a cup and a half to two cups because I put six servings I put for six servings and this will be way more than six servings so it may be less points if I go and change my servings that may be at least eight servings or more so that's a cup of soup a cup of the chicken and then I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on it This is the fat-free cheese. I found some. And now my taste tester. It is hot. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's right. I tasted this type of cheese. I don't have anything, baby. It's good. It's soupy and it's hot. Great for a fall day like this one. There it is. Soupy. Great, hot, cheesy for a fall day. <laughs> I don't know where he comes up with this stuff, but um, it's Jackson approved and Gracie's sitting here waiting for her bite, which she is not getting any. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by our channel, Croctober Day 16. 
We're having a chicken and cauliflower bake. Came out more like a soup than a bake. But um, I'll try to link the recipe below if I can. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're enjoying Croctober, give us a thumbs up. I've been finding some great new recipes that I'm going to be using over the next couple of weeks. We are so honored to have you stop by our kitchen. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.